Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another Legend of Korra reaction. We are on episode 7 and 8 today. Um, yeah, really enjoying the show so far. It's been, yeah, not what I was expecting when we first went into it, but it's been, yeah, the plot's developing really, really nicely. Um, yeah, the Amon character is really interesting. Um, really curious to learn more about him. Um, I think we were probably leaning towards him being somehow related to Aang, like his Amon's father or parents or something might have been somehow killed by Aang, maybe collateral damage. Um, I don't know, we keep seeing flashbacks from Korra's uh, uh, point of view when she gets like knocked out or electrocuted. So yeah, I'm, 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 just, I'm just gonna go with that for right now is the theory. Um, uh, one of you guys corrected me on the name of the, the, the person that Aang had to, had to battle back in the day. I forget the name though. Um, I'm sure they'll mention it again at some point. But yeah, so yeah, really curious about that. Um, yeah, we had, uh, oh man, Ta Tano? Was it Tano? Yeah, Tano, played by Rami Malek, which is was really cool to hear Rami Malek's voice in the in the show. Um, I'm, I'm assuming there'll probably be some more people I know uh, down the line. Um, but yeah, seeing Tano, he lost his powers, which is yeah, that was an amazing uh, show of like strength, I guess, by him on taking out like the the top bending team's powers. Um, yeah, definitely a cool uh, cool little thing there. And then yeah, we we also learned Lin and uh, Lin and Tenzin were were a couple before they. Uh, or before Tenzin yeah, got with that other, with his future wife, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's interesting too. I hope we see some more, yeah. I'm, I hope we just see more flashbacks in general. I'm really enjoying seeing the flashbacks of like uh, everyone. Um, yeah, so we, we are at the halfway mark. So we still haven't seen any more confirmation of who's alive from the original gang other than Katara. Um, yeah, we still haven't seen, I'm surprised we haven't seen Toph because Lin's been in it so much. So I'm going to, maybe I'll assume that that means Toph's not around anymore. But I hope she is. It'd be, it'd be such a waste if she wasn't in the show. Because, yeah, I feel like just old Lady Toph would be, like, an amazing, amazing character to have. Um, but, yeah, I think we'll just kind of... Yeah, I guess we'll just hop into it. Um, I would like to say, um, let me know how you guys are liking the like the length of these videos. Um, as you, you notice, like, my, the editing's changed in the in the videos from my Avatar ones. I'm... Um, we, I, one of my viewers offered to help me edit these so yeah i am curious how you guys feel about like he's managing to get a lot more footage of the episode shown but it is any episode a much longer video so let me know if you'd prefer if, it, if it's a bit cut down more like i think i was i think my videos were usually like 20 25 minutes total for the two episodes including discussion um i am trying to discuss a bit more so that like makes the runtime longer obviously but yeah if, if, you, if you think like the 40 50 minute videos are too long let me know um yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the what the best format is. I feel like shorter might be better just because it's like you don't have to sit and watch for as long, I guess. But yeah, let me know. Um, I have been putting like more time codes in though for like big moments in the episode, so you can just skip around to those if you'd prefer that. Um, but yeah, yeah, just let, let me know in the comments. Um, Cause yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Obviously, I want, I want you guys' feedback. So let me know. Let me know for sure. Um, but yeah, with all that said, I guess we can just hop into this uh, episode seven and eight. What's going to happen? In episode seven and eight. Um. Yeah, I, ho I hope we do see more Tano. Like that'd be a cool. Yeah, like a cool, like a cool story of like, like how he deals with losing his um his abilities. Uh, I, I, they probably won't spend that much time on him though. I'd assume because he's kind of, he's just like a, like a one off like bad guy i guess I, I doubt they would do that more but that would be cool to see like the psychology of like losing your bending um they kind of showed that in avatar with uh with ozai but not a ton yeah so that, that'd, that'd be cool to to dive into i guess but yeah yeah for like the 50th time we'll just hop into it um <laughs> yeah let's hop into it for, for the 51st time <laughs> let's go revolutionaries who call themselves equalists are not interested in equality at all. Chief Beifong was supposed to protect Republic City, but she was powerless to stop Amon's attack on the arena. She has failed us all. Mm -hmm. If we are to survive these dire times, throw him, throw him Amon into the bus, into the bus. Leadership. Yeah. Chapter 7, The Aftermath. Maybe they will dive into, into Tano's uh, psychology or mindset. <laughs> I still can't believe this. 
ran, random thing. I was just at the dog park with uh, with my dogs, and there was a dog that looked just like uh, uh, Aggie. Is that is that Aggie? Man, I'm so bad with the names. But yeah, there was a dog. It was like it was huge. It looked like a giant. It looked like a polar bear almost. It was, it was hilarious. It um, at one point it was like on its back with like a squeak, a little squeaky toy, just squeaking it for like 20 seconds straight. It was, it was really funny. Anyways, dog park stories. Shutting this place down. Yeah, we had some good memories here, didn't we? Guys, great news. You can come live on Air Temple Island with me. Asami already invited us to live in her dad's giant mansion. <laughs> I'd love to have you come visit the estate. Come on, Cora. We all deserve a little rest and relaxation after all this craziness. All right, Pabu. Great. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> have a pool day? Okay. What is that? Looks Ooh. like our intel was good. There's nice. enough evidence here to bury Cabbage Corp for an eternity. Cabbage Corp? We have frozen Mr. Ganlon's assets and are closing Cabbage Corp. No! Not my oh, it's the Corp. It's the Cabbage Corp. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't put that together until just now. I like the grandson of that guy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, Cora. Oh, okay, we are going to see him. I've been to the best healers in the city. Whatever Amon did to me, it's permanent. You gotta get him for me. <laughs> Mr. Sato, <laughs> if you remember anything else about what you saw during Amon's attack, be sure to let us know. I'm happy to help any way I can. I want these equalists to pay for what they've done. See you around, Avatar. Yeah, I wonder if, if they'd ever did a live action, if, if they could get Rami Malek and, uh, and Mr. Sato to, Mr. Sato to, to reprise their roles. It pro probably wouldn't make sense. Like... Yeah, Mr. S Mr. Sato at least because Daniel Bay Kim's already playing. I was I wouldn't really be weird to have him play him. I guess you could put makeup on him though, make him look a bit different. That'd be cool. But yeah, it'd be cool to have Rami Mock playing Tano for like an episode or two. I'm assuming they they got to do a Korra live action, right? I'm assuming after they do Avatar, like they finish Avatar, that'd be awesome. Earth Minic Bomb! <laughs> hey Korra, glad you made it. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> This is the greatest place in the world. Watch this, watch this. Fetch me my towel, good sir. Yes, Master Bolin. Now, Pabu, try. <laughs> as you wish. <laughs> Don't forget Master Pabu. Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Jesus. <laughs> you chips it right away. So, what do you have planned for us today? Ooh. Like this. Pretty cool, huh? You want me to take you for a spin? <laughs> you gonna bond? That was amazing! I gotta admit, I had you pegged wrong. I thought you were kind of prissy. Uh, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. People usually assume that I'm daddy's helpless little girl, but I can handle myself. My dad made sure I would always be able to protect myself. Smart guy. Emergency! Emergency coming through! Beep, beep! <laughs> what happened? Uh, is there another bathroom I can use? In here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, I assure you, everything is going exactly as planned. Ooh. Yes. Luckily, the Cabbage Corp investigation has bought us enough time. Trust me, by the end of the week, we'll be ready to strike. Oh. Hmm, okay, interesting. Yeah, I kind of assumed that th that guy might be might be a bit evil, so that, you know, not sure where it's going to go exactly, but yeah, it makes sense that he, yeah. So you think Mr. Sato manufactured those gloves for the Equalists, then framed Cabbage Corp? Sato's up to something. And he has a motive. That's right. A motive? What is it? A firebender killed Sato's wife during the break-in. Ooh, okay. It's terrible. That it makes sense. Tragic. It's possible he's been harboring anti-bending sentiment all this time. Maybe we should look at Mr. Sato a little more closely. Mm -hmm. 
I can assure you, I have nothing to do with those radicals. I overheard you on the phone. You said the Cabbage Corp investigation bought you time and you're getting ready to strike. <laughs> <laughs> this is all just a misunderstanding. My number one competitor was knocked out of the game. It's providing me an opportunity to strike the market with a new line of automobiles. Yeah, okay. It's just business. In order to put all suspicions to rest, might we have a look into your factories and warehouses? If you feel it's necessary, you're welcome to search all of Future Industries. Okay. Is it possible the presidents of Cabbage Corp and Future Industries both have equalist ties? So far, the investigation has yielded no evidence to incriminate Sato. Okay. It would appear Hiroshi is innocent. Now you can all leave. Hmm. I don't care how cooperative Hiroshi is being. I know he's lying. Why are you doing this? If you don't drop this, consider our friendship over. Hmm. I'm sorry. Hiroshi is not the man you think he is. <sighs> hmm. Oh. Ooh. Okay. If you want to find the truth, meet me under the north end of the Silk Road Bridge at midnight. Okay. Cool, cool. Some sketchy stuff going on. Listen, I joined the Equalist because I believed in what Amon said. But I didn't sign up for this... this war. What do you have on Hiroshi Sato? He manufactured those gloves for the Equalists. We searched all of future industries and found nothing. That's because he has a secret factory. Where? It's right underneath the Sato Mansion. Ooh. Interesting. What are you doing here? We have reason to believe there's a factory hidden below the mansion. The lies you people come up with just to persecute my father. Where is your father? In his workshop, behind the house. Yeah. Jeez, secret tunnel, secret tunnel. No one has left the workshop since we arrived. Perhaps we just couldn't see him leaving. Ooh, nice. There's a tunnel beneath the workshop, running deep into the mountainside. Oh shit. Oh my Stop. god, Blue. I don't understand. There must be an explanation. Maybe you don't know everything about your father. Officer Song, keep an eye on them. Oh, that's not good. The first thing you see. Your average backyard workshop. This is huge. Ooh, what are those? And I'm guessing those are the new weapons. Hiroshi was lying, all right, but where is he? Oh. What was that? We need to get down there and see what's going on. You're staying put until the chief comes back. Okay, but don't blame me if I start snee. If I start snee. <laughs> sneeze. What's your problem, Bub? I'm about to. What? <laughs> Sorry, pal. <laughs> we know you were just doing your job. Yeah, just stay put until the chief comes back. <laughs> that sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Why? Because you said it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I think she doesn't know. Careful. I'm gonna assume she didn't. She didn't know. But who knows? Actually, let me let me pause it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume she doesn't know, but it also like like I was saying, it when when she first bumped into Mako, it seemed kind of like the odds of that happening seemed like it could have been all set up from the beginning. So yeah, we'll see. I'm afraid you won't be able to metal bend that wall, Chief Bong. It's solid platinum. Uh oh. Ooh, it was like. My mega tanks are platinum as well. Not even your renowned mother could bend a metal so pure. Mm. Hiroshi, I knew you were a lying, no-good equalist. 
Come out here and... And do what, young Avatar? Face the wrath of your bending? No. I think I'll fight from inside here, where <laughs> my odds are a little more... equal. Jeez. That's not good. Why do you get out? Oh, they're all captured. Sorry. I'm... Load everyone into the transports and deliver them to Amon. Jeez. Go. Oh, there they are. To the rescue. Cora was right. We gotta do something quick. How does no one see them? <laughs> Not so fast, boys. Yeah, there we go. Sponsoring our team, supporting the Avatar, it was all just a big cover. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the most difficult part was watching my daughter traipse around with a fire bending street Ooh, rat like shit. you. Okay, so she didn't know. Asami didn't know. Dad, stop! Sweetie. I wanted to keep you out of this for as long as I could, but now that you know the truth, please, forgive me. These benders, they took away your mother. They've ruined the world. Join me, Asami. She's not gonna, no. She's gonna use it on him. I love you, Dad. Yeah. Sasami. Of course, Cora is like. Let's get out of here. <laughs> hmm. My metal benders are on their way to Amon, and it's all my fault. First thing in the morning, I'm handing in my resignation. No, you can't give up like this. I'm gonna find my officers and take Amon down, but I'm gonna do it my way. Outside the law. So, does your offer to live at the Air Temple still stand? Of course mm -hmm. it does. And Asami's welcome too. After everything she's been through, she's going to need you, Mako. Mm hmm. All right. All right, so that's episode seven. A yeah, really good episode. Um, lots of Mr. Sato backstory, Asami backstory. Um, yeah, I guess it, yeah, it made sense that Mr. Sato was kind of evil. Um, his initial backer and all that seemed sketchy to begin with. Yeah, I thought I'm, I thought it might have been a setup with Asami getting with Mako, but it doesn't seem, doesn't look like that was the case. She was in the dark just as much as just as much as everyone else was so yeah that, that's good at least she's like yeah she, she'll she's not like an evil character definitely just seems like a nice character hey, did i miss anything uh they, they got the, they got those new machines i don't know if they actually got any of them out though into amon's hands they, actually they, they probably did they probably got some of those like neck neck suit things out of there before uh the police like captured them um yeah anything else though that we need to touch on right, right off the rip here um yeah, let's just let's just hop in the next episode. We're excited to see the next episode. Yeah, chapter eight: When extremes meet. Interesting. <laughs> You're pretty. Can I have some of your hair? <laughs> Looks like I have what? some competition. What? <laughs> and now for the grand tour. Milo, why don't you go with the boys too? We shall meet again soon, beautiful woman. <laughs> Iki and I will take you to your room this way. <laughs> That's probably exactly how Aang was when he was that age. Asami, did you Same know Cora likes Mako? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, uh, 
No, I wasn't completely aware of that. <laughs> oh my god. So, here's your room. Awkward. Iki, I swear, if you don't leave us alone, I'm gonna... Uh, Tenzin, come right in. <laughs> Good day, ladies. Beifong's replacement, Sai Khan, is going to be inducted as the new chief of police later. I think we should both be there. Okay. It was an honor Sai serving Khan? under Chief Beifong for so many years. Republic City is facing a threat like none the world has ever seen. But there is one man who has been effective against Amman's revolution. Councilman Tarlock. And that is why, for all matters involving the Equalists, I will report directly to him. Okay, yeah, it's a big power point. Lend any and all available resources to the councilman and his task force. Tarlock, I don't know what you did to get Chief Saikon in your pocket, but I highly doubt it was legal. Oh, Tenzin, did you ever consider Saikon simply recognizes my talents and wants what is best for this city? <laughs> well, Avatar Korra. Long time no see. I look forward to your return to my task force. <laughs> There's no way I'm rejoining your vanity project. That is unfortunate to hear. But I'm sure you'll come to your senses. You need me, <laughs> but I don't need you. I'm the Avatar. You are merely a half-baked Avatar in training. <laughs> Which reminds me, True. how is your airbending going? Made any significant progress with that? Nope, she's been I distracted. Didn't think so. If you will not be part of my task force, then you had best stay out of my way. <laughs> I don't understand what's wrong with me. I've memorized nearly all of the practice forms, but I still can't produce a single measly puff of air. You just need to work through this air bending block. Aang not only had his bending teachers, but also his past lives to call upon for guidance. Yeah, she hasn't done Have you ever made contact with your past lives? Didn't you get the memo from the White Lotus? I'm a spiritual failure, too. You may have made a connection without realizing it. Perhaps something you mistook as a dream. Mm-hmm. Maybe. The flashbacks. I saw Aang. It seemed like he was in trouble. What do you think it means? Hmm. I don't know. But I urge you to meditate on these visions. I believe Aang's spirit must be trying to tell you something. Sick. Are we going to see Aang? Come on. Hello? You out here? Are you okay? I'm fine. Come on. What's wrong? How am I supposed to save the city when I can't even learn airbending? I just feel... alone. No, that's nonsense. You are amazing. Aang hadn't mastered all the elements when he was battling the Fire Nation. He was <laughs> just a little kid. And he wasn't alone. He had his friends to help him. Yeah. But we're still a team. The new Team Avatar. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. What is this kid? What are we doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is his head like the size of three heads? Get uh. ready, Republic City. You are about to be patrolled by Team Avatar. All right, let's ride. I like the new Team Avatar style. <laughs> My dad had police scanners installed in all of his cars. I guess now I know why. Calling all units. Level 4 alert. Equalist jailbreak. Sheep lockers! Get them! Let's get them! Nice. No chasing. On the, on the car. No. 
Avatar squad, let's go. Avatar Korra, what do you think you're doing? Oh, hey, Tarlock. Nice of you to show up, finally. What you did was tear up the city and impede the real authorities in their pursuit of these criminals. This is your last warning. Stay out of my way. Republic City stands as a beacon of freedom. The law I have proposed would make it illegal for anyone to be a member of the Equalists or even be associated with them. It also puts into effect a curfew, ensuring all non-benders are in their own homes by nightfall. This is going too far, Tarlock. You can't yeah, punish I don't, all non-benders for the agree actions with that of a at few. All. That kind of cowardice will cause our city to fall into a... I'm a, another, another theory here, theory time. Yeah, is, wait, is Tarlock a bender? I forget if Tarlock's a bender. Man, is he a bender? If he is a bender, then disregard what I'm about to say. If, if he's not, then that would help, help my theory out. Yeah, so it is Tarlock. I feel like Tarlock might be in cahoots with Amon if he's not a bender. I totally forget if he is. Even if he is, actually, he might be, maybe. But that'd be pretty silly of him to be. But yeah, just some of the stuff he's doing seems like it might be, like, like putting that much security i guess on non-benders even that are just like regular not not involved with anything like that would only make more people want to join the equalist side right so unless he's just really dumb it could just be that he is like associated with amon and is trying to like get the public to move towards amon's side by using his policies um yeah we'll go with that theory for right now but if, if he is a bender which he might be i totally forget um then that probably hurts my theory. Yeah, I don't really see why he would be trying to, unless he like somehow thinks that Amon wouldn't take his bending away, or he will and will give him power in the new world. I don't know. Anyways, Amon's hands. We must pass this law. All in favor? Yeah, he, he seems evil. All available units, please respond to the 5600 block of Dragon Flats Borough. Equalists have taken to the streets. Consider them armed and dangerous. All non-benders, return to your homes immediately. Yeah, as soon as you turn our power back on. Yeah! Yeah! Disperse, or you will all be arrested. Please help us. You're our avatar too. Hmm. Tarlock. You need to turn the power back on and leave these people alone. You don't have the right to treat these innocent people like criminals. This is an equalist rally. There is nothing innocent about it. Round up all these equalists. Hmm. Jeez. Oh, he is a bender. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he is a bender. I still think it might. Would that make sense if he's with Amon, even if he's a bender? There's a there's a place that it could make sense, but I prob probably not. I think he's just like maybe he's the op. He's he's like the he's like Amon, but in reverse, where he he doesn't he thinks like non benders are just like scum and shouldn't even exist really. So he's kind of like the opposite of Amon. That, that theory works too, I guess. Where he's, yeah, he just wants them all gone. We'll go with that. He might might not be that. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, let me go! Ugh. You're under arrest. Let her go. <laughs> arrest him and his brother. Carlock! Unless you want to join your friends in prison, I suggest you put those down and go back to the air temple. Yeah. We'll be all right. You had a good run. This isn't over, Tarlock. Oh, I believe it is. Take them away. Okay. Hey! 
I came as fast as I could. Were your friends all right? I don't know. These knuckleheads won't tell me anything. Saikon, a word, <laughs> please. Three of Avatar Korra's friends were wrongly arrested tonight. I'd like you to release them immediately. They were interfering with police business. All Equalist suspects are being detained indefinitely. They'll be freed if and when the task force deems they are no Jeez, longer a threat. Those people are entitled to due process under the law. You'll have to take that up with Councilman Tarlock. You're officially the worst chief of police ever. Calm down, Cora. <laughs> I'll get this sorted out. We just need to be patient. But you really are the worst. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Ooh, that looks really cool. We've seen that, right? Ooh. You and I need to talk. <laughs> you obviously have something on your mind. Spit it out. Don't you see? You're doing exactly what Amon says is wrong with vendors. You're yeah. using your power to oppress and intimidate people. And yeah. you don't? Of, of course not. That's what I admire about you, Cora. Your willingness to go to extremes mm. in order to get what you want. Look, I'll make you a deal. You fall in line and do what I say, and I'll release your friends. You might be able to manipulate Chief Saikon into following you, but it won't work on me. You will regret that decision. Oh. They went to fight? Oh, jeez. Ooh, cut her hair. Yeah, why would you try fighting her? Damn. Ooh, cool. Let's go show me. Still think I'm a half baked avatar? Jeez. Oh. She's gonna get in trouble for this. Oh shit! You're oh. in my way, Avatar. Blood bending. And you need to be removed. It's not a full moon. How? Yeah. How are you doing this? There are a lot of things you don't know about me. Ooh. Dad. Where are you? T what did? Was that? Is that him? Okay, I think that they just showed that that was him. Four years ago so he's somehow or his, his son maybe or his father i mean because he yeah he looked kind of similar in just then and yeah could there be some i guess theoretically like if you're like an insanely powerful water bender you'd be able to heal like you could heal your like yourself and like reverse aging maybe is that what i'm getting from that scene just now and he's yeah he's like obviously insanely like the most powerful waterbender ever probably based off that he can he can uh blood bend without like the full moon um i think we kind of had that hinted towards in avatar but nothing was confirmed about it yeah because didn't katara katara water or blood bended too but i don't think it was in a full moon so the I, I th there must be a way. Well, there is because he can. But yeah, so either either he somehow reverses aging, or it was his father that was the one with the uh, that was battling Avatar Aang. Um, yes. Okay. So never mind. So he's not he's not involved with. Yeah, he's he's. I think he's literally the opposite of Amon at this point. He like hates like he he, he feels regular people are like are like beneath him and are like scum and should shouldn't be like around. Is kind of the vibe I'm getting from what we've seen of him so far. So that's interesting. We got kind of like two, two really bad or two bad guys. He, I, he would be more. He'd be worse of a bad guy than Amon would, because, yeah. Hmm. So maybe, maybe, yeah. I guess that would be a. Yeah, I'll save that for the 
the outro. Taking me. Somewhere no one will find you. Ah! Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't a full moon. Jeez. Okay. All right. Yeah. So yes, what I was that, what I was about to say at the end there. Um. Yeah. Like, would could would would hit him being like the like ultimate evil bad guy? Would that may make like maybe Katara? Or not, I keep saying Katara. Would Korra and Amon maybe team up to like stop him from kill? Like, I don't know if he's trying to kill non-benders, but he seems like he's at a point where he like. He doesn't value them at all and would like prefer them to be gone so yeah i could see i could see a finale where where uh, Korra teams up with amon and they come to like a middle ground maybe where they eliminate the bad benders maybe and they enact i, I think i said this earlier in, the, in my reaction but yeah like they enact like way stricter laws around benders like abusing their power like any type of abuse at all is like life in prison type type deal to like keep everything in check a bit more and allow non-benders to not live in much as not live in fear as much yeah that'd be a cool cool plot line um yeah we didn't see we didn't see yeah we saw we saw the flashback there but it wasn't like yeah so i i definitely think next episode core next the next two episodes i guess core is definitely gonna make contact with ang and that'll that'll kind of connect those flashbacks to the present so i kept thinking those flashbacks would connect with amon but i think they're actually going to connect to um or they, they obviously will because we just we just saw someone in the flashback uh bloodbending like a broom of people which is that's like an insane amount of power so yeah that, that that's either that's either tarlock or it's um tarlock's father i i kind of leaning towards it being tarlock with his yeah I, I feel like he'll be he has the ability to like heal himself and like live forever theoretically i guess would be kind of the, the plot there so i, I but that doesn't really explain how he would have been like free though because he would have got had to get out of prison right i think is yeah mm, yes yeah, so it might be might be a son might be the son i don't know we'll see we'll see i guess um but yeah no those are two, two really good episodes uh yeah obviously the blood bending there just kind of caught me off guard i was not expecting to see that at all just then so that was, that was an awesome surprise um yeah that was super creepy super creepy just out of nowhere um Korra was like completely helpless so that's yeah that was wild yeah man yeah yeah I guess yeah th th that's my theory we'll go with that for now it's probably wrong but yeah that, that's a that's a decent decent theory I think um anything else you need to touch on mm -hmm. no I, th I think that's good yeah we'll just, we'll just end it there not a ton of discussion this episode I think it was pretty straightforward but yeah we'll go with that as a theory for now um yeah um yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a sub drop a like comment anything i missed uh or your thoughts in the episode i guess um yeah really really i'm really enjoying the show so we got two more uploads till we're at the finale season one which yeah hope, hopefully it wraps up nicely there's not well four episodes is a decent amount of time but yeah hopefully hopefully it wraps up nicely for season one um yeah have a good one